So to date, we have uh, executed five phases of work here at Bluestone Dam. Uh, we're actually at the closeout or near completion of the fifth phase, although it's called phase four, we actually had a phase 2A and a 2B. Um, as that contractor is completing uh, installing uh, the 500 anchor into the dam, uh, we are working on a design package to go out on what we call phase five, will actually be the sixth phase of construction, to uh, alter our main stilling basin to be able to pass those extreme outflows. So fully funding Bluestone through phase five completion has really allowed us a lot of predictability. Um, that, that goes all the way from design for that phase through the contracting, through the uh, subsequent mitigation that's going to occur. And so our team is able to take that funding, know exactly you know, when that project uh, would have realized its benefits and uh, really front load the schedule as much as possible. We know we're now fully funded, so we can move activities to the left. We can realize project benefits much sooner, uh, which allows us to buy down risk for the public. So this uh, project schedule has been accelerated up to a decade. Uh, so from 2038 to 2027 is what we're looking at right now for uh, project benefits being realized. And that's, that's just fantastic to have the ability to do that on this size and magnitude of a project. Basically what we've got going on right now, we're installing some high capacity anchors for the dam. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but we're getting ready to actually install one now. Uh, there's, we're working on phase four. There's 278 anchors to be installed in the dam. Uh, to date, we've installed 263 that have been locked or installed locked off. So we got a few more to go. The contract's starting to wind down at this point. Phase four is scheduled to complete in October 2019. Uh, we hope to be finished with the anchors by the end of this fall by Thanksgiving time frame. We'll, we should be done with the anchors. We'll have some site work left, uh, do some roads and some site cleanup and site prep and things like that. So that should end the, the summer of 19. So for the past 20 years, we have been um, under construction at Bluestone Dam addressing a significant hydrologic deficiency. Um, specifically, the dam has got two issues. One, there are storms that we now know could overwhelm the discharge capacity of the dam and cause it to be overtopped, uh, which could cause it to breach. Secondly, the foundation of the dam um, has some uh, interbedded shale within its um, orthocortite that can actually slide and take the dam with it when it's resisting the force of extreme storm waters. So for the past 20 years, we've been installing nearly 500 rock anchors into the dam adding some stability through some mass concrete, and also increasing its discharge uh, capability to re reduce the chance of it being overtopped. Um, recently, we were approved for our final piece of modification here at the project to make sure that it can uh, work as intended, and that's to address scour in our primary stilling basin. Uh, basically, we have storms which we have to pass, which nearly quadruple the amount of water we feel our stilling basin can handle without eroding away and undermining the toe of the dam, and even with all those anchors in place, causing it to fail. Up to 860,000 cubic feet per second. For perspective, a cubic foot is about the size of a beach ball, so think about 800,000 of those going past your face every second. Um, fortunately, this fiscal year, we were received full funding to project completion through the FY18 Emergency Supplemental Appropriation, and that's gonna allow us to advance the project um, significantly. Well, just so the public understands that we've got folks out here every day watching uh, over our contractor and ensuring that we get the maximum benefit from the, uh, the supplemental funding that was given for this project. So take, taking care of our taxpayer funding for this project is really important to us, ensuring that we get the maximum value and the maximum benefit and really risk reduction associated with a project of this magnitude. So that's foremost in our mind and ensuring that the people downstream of this project and those all through the Kanawha River Basin are protected. So um, the funding we received in the FY18 emergency supplemental is allowing us to, um, without any constraints, put multiple design teams together to get packages out to contractors to begin the work we need to get done. Uh, in FY19, we anticipate award of a critical path coffer dam, which will allow our uh, stilling basin contractor, which we anticipate will be awarded in FY2020, 
to immediately get into that basin, unwater it, and begin the work he needs to do to make sure that this dam remains uh, resilient for years to come. Bluestone Dam is an incredibly important and impactful dam in the history of the Kanawha Valley, really the Ohio Valley. Uh, first put in place in 1948, it has reduced flood risk throughout the new Kanawha and Ohio River Valleys and really allowed the state capital of Charleston to develop as a healthy community. Uh, nearly half the water that goes past our state capital every day comes through the gates of Bluestone Dam. It has a drainage basin the size of Connecticut upstream of it, which means that it has to be able to handle a wide variety of storms, including hurricanes that come in off the Atlantic coast. It's a strong, although it's a silent piece of infrastructure, it's one that the Corps of Engineers is working diligently to make sure is there for future generations to provide the same benefit it has in the past.